Today I will be ranking every single vault experiment in the Fallout universe. Now we all know that some of the vault experiments are pretty messed up and it would not be a good situation to be in, but some of them are actually not that bad and I would choose them over the others. So I'm just basing this completely off of my opinion. You may disagree with me on some of them here, but we're ranking this based off of what vault I go into and how screwed I would be, or maybe I would live a pretty good life. Now S tier is obviously the best possible outcome, like if I could be in any vault, this is the vault that I would want to be in. A is pretty nice and a good vault selection. B is okay. I mean, it could be worse. It could be better, but it's decent. C is completely neutral. It's not bad, nor is it good. D is, this is bad. This is a very bad situation. And F is, I would rather be dead. Now, obviously, there's going to be spoilers for the new Fallout show, as well as spoilers for any of the games. So if you don't want any spoilers, I don't even know why you clicked on this video. All right, moving on. Vault 3. Purpose. Control vault with no experiment. Outcome. Water leak forced them to open their vault and fiends took it over. Now, obviously, this is a control unit, no experiment, just living life pretty normally, so that rightfully that's gonna go into C tier. It's neither good nor bad. Uh, there's a couple other control vaults as well. Vault 8, who used their GEC device to found Vault City. I gotta find it on here. There it is. Vault 8. Vault 13, who had a water chip failure. God, why did I make these numbers so small? 13, there you are. And Vault 76, which is the vault you start in in Fallout 76. Vault 4. Purpose. Ran entirely by scientists. Outcome. The scientists were pretty messed up and experimented on survivors that they let in, which in turn killed them and now live in the vault. You want to lock me into a vault with a bunch of nerds? No thank you. F tier. Vault 7. Purpose. Built at the bottom of a lake with no residents, but test people who enter the vault. Outcome. Unknown. Since this one has no residents, it's disqualified from the ranking. Moving on. Vault 11. Purpose. Social experiment where residents have to select an overseer who will then be sacrificed at the end of their term. If they don't pick someone, they all die. Outcome. They did. But that's because they didn't pick someone and they were congratulated for their bravery and given freedom. But there was only five people left at that point. Man, that is a brutal experiment. Whoever came up with that, the Fallout writer that, that came up with that, their head needs to be studied because I don't even think I could imagine something that cruel. I mean, basically the vault dwellers at the end all, you know, couldn't handle the guilt of uh, sacrificing all of their fellow residents, and they, uh, yeah, they off themselves, which is understandable. This would not be a fun vault to be in. I think it would be pretty messed up, and it would make me go crazy, too. Especially the sheer fear of being picked. Like, I would play stupid, like an absolute idiot, so I wouldn't get voted as an overseer, but uh, that would probably make me be picked even more, because then they would just, you know vote the idiot in to have him die. So there's no winning that in all, at all. I'm lost. F tier. F tier for sure. Vault 12. Purpose. Testing the long-term effects of radiation. They didn't seal the doors completely. Outcome. They all turned into ghouls. Boo! Ha! Did you get scared of this ghoul? You racist. I mean, it could be worse, right? I mean, yeah, you'll turn into a ghoul, but you gotta look on the bright side. You might end up like a sexy ghoul, you know? You could be the ghoul. And you'll at least have a bunch of ghoul friends to hang out with. You'd be buddies. So, I mean, misery loves company. Better to be a ghoul with a bunch of your friends than a ghoul by yourself. I'm gonna put that in B tier. Once I can find the fucking number. There it is. Vault 15. Purpose. Diverse residents from many ethnic and religious backgrounds to see how they cooperate over a long period of time. Outcome. Left to form three different gangs, and the rest founded Shady Sands. I mean, this one doesn't seem that bad, to be honest. I mean, it said that they had an issue with overpopulation, but at least they didn't kill each other. And if they did end up with people that were racist or intolerant of other religions, it'd probably be easy to just uh, take them out and eliminate the problem, right? But then you might have, like, somebody who thinks they're Jesus and try to spread their own religion. Is that a bad thing, though? I don't know. I'm gonna go with B tier. No, I just reset the fucking list. Are you kidding me? God damn it. Okay, let's be careful not to hit the fucking back button again. Jesus Christ. Vault 19. Purpose. Residents divided into red and blue groups with added effects to cause paranoia over time. Outcome. Fate unknown. Eventually taken over by the Powder Gangers. I mean, the whole red versus blue thing doesn't really sound that bad on a high-level perspective. You would like to think that you would be able to resist the temptation of, you know, being a red and... and basically being racist towards the blue because at the end of the day you're all humans you work together but i think when you're actually in that situation it's it's a little bit different it'll definitely turn into like an us versus them mindset because that's how everyone else is gonna think too but you also couple that with the paranoia effects and all that and yeah you're slowly gonna lose your mind over time that's definitely d tier vault 21 
Purpose. Test the effects of excessive gambling. Every dispute to be solved by gambling. Outcome. Converted to a hotel in New Vegas. Now, as a native Las Vegan, I am not an avid gambler. I mean, I do it just for fun, stick a couple of dollars into the machine, but I can see how angry people can get when they lose. Getting accused of cheating, probably stab you in the throat. And that also means everything in your life is now 100% purely decided by chance. Because, I mean, gambling is all just chance. So, if you leave it all up, I mean, that's kind of how real life is too, I guess. So, eh. B tier. Vault 21. Purpose, study genetically modified crops and flora. Outcome, residents turned into spore carriers. Okay, turning into this thing would be pretty crappy, but if we don't look at the outcome, the experiment's not that bad. Sure, it turned out horribly wrong, but you could have lived in a vault with like some tasty new genetically modified fruits or maybe some flowers. You know, I mean, there's genetically modified stuff in real life, right? Just because it turned out bad doesn't mean that it's a bad vault to be in. It's a chance I'm willing to take to have some like super watermelon or something. I mean, it sure beats being driven to insanity with flickering lights and noises. So C tier. Vault 27. Purpose. Overcrowded with 2,000 residents. Outcome. Unknown. That sounds pretty crappy. I, I don't, I fail to see any bright side here. I'm usually pretty good at seeing at least a little bit of the bright side, but living on an overcrowded vault, I mean, you know, the whole earth is apparently overcrowded as is and people fighting for food and all that. Yeah, it's, that's a bad time, F tier for sure. Vault 29, purpose, rich kids under the age of 15 only, no parents. Outcome, unknown. This would be my worst fear. It'd be like joining a Harvard fraternity. There's nothing I can imagine worse than being surrounded by a bunch of rich, spoiled brats. F tier. Vault 31, 32, and 33. Purpose, three vaults interconnected with one vault housing frozen vault tech employees. Outcome, one vault died, the other revolted, and the last still has the frozen people. Now these are the vaults from the TV show. I guess it kind of depends which vault you're in, because if you're the frozen one, that's not that bad. I mean, you're pretty protected and being guarded by a robot. But on the other hand, if you were at the other vaults, uh, one of them didn't end up very good. But I mean, the other one lived a pretty happy life. They looked pretty happy from the show. Ignorance is bliss. Just don't go trying to dig into the truth and everything's fine. So it, it could be worse. I'm going to put that in uh, B tier. Vault 34. Purpose. Access to an unrestricted and overstocked armory. Outcome. Residents tried to install locks, which led to a revolt. Survivors became the boomers, and the non-survivors died, obviously. I already live in America. Is that really any different? But I'm um, to... Now, but for real, I mean, you're basically leaving your fate up to the people, whether they want to control the armory or just let everyone have it. I mean, it's a very neutral situation to be in. I mean, it's just a bunch of guns, extra guns. Could be worse, but could be better. Very neutral on that. C tier. Vault 36. Purpose. Food machines would only make a thin, watery gruel. Outcome. Unknown. I think that a majority of people, it would make them pretty depressed to eat the same thing over and over and over for pretty much the rest of your entire life. If you're born that way, though, and all you know is eating watery gruel, is that really so bad? What would happen to a baby that just eats the same thing? I mean, they eat formula, right? It's the same thing. What if you just kept feeding formula to a baby for the rest of time? Do you think they would know what food can even imagine like? Would they would they thirst for it? That is a good experiment, actually, now that they think about it but for the people going in that would kind of suck me though personally i hate eating i think a lot of my problems would be solved in life if i didn't have to eat three meals a day and worry about making dinner for the rest of my life <sighs> every day every day at the end of the day it's like oh fuck i gotta make dinner again what am i gonna make don't get me wrong i love food i do but i think i think this is not as bad as it could be i'm gonna go with b tier vault 42 purpose no light bulbs above 40 watts outcome Unknown. I tried googling how bright is a 40 watt light bulb and uh, these pictures are not very helpful. It's hard for me to imagine it. I also don't think I have a 40 watt light bulb laying around, but I think that's pretty dark. It doesn't sound that horrible, you know? Sure, it'll be a little darker down there. You can't really stimulate, not stimulate, simulate sunlight. And it'll constantly look like you're in like some dim reading light, which is you know, looking on the bright side. You have, oh, you always have good, perfect reading light. And honestly, if I was the vault tech employee, I would just give them no lights and see what would happen there. So it could be worse. You could have no lights, but at least you have some lights. And what if you just like, if you just use like 10 40 watt light bulbs that would that would be helpful right i mean it would basically you know 40 times 10 it would be a 400 watt light if you just strapped them all together is that how lights work c tier vault 43 
Purpose. 20 men and 10 women forced to live with a live panther. Outcome. Unknown. There's a lot of variables here. I think that most people would look at this situation and be worried about the live panther. I think I'm more worried about the fact that there's half as many women. So I think the easy solution to that is designate 10 men to go tame or kill the panther. Because I, I think the best scenario here is probably to kill the panther. I don't think it'd be good idea to live with a live panther that's just setting you up for failure but i don't know maybe maybe killing the panther is not the right move and i would fail the experiment but you just let 10 men go kill the panther fights and and they'll step up and so now you've eliminated all the competition because they're the brave strong men and if they die now it just solves the problem now there's less men for competition for for the for everyone else you know because you, you, you can't if you have 20 men and 10 women what are the 10 men gonna do just hang out with their homies and 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 not have female companionship man this sounds really bad this kind of sounds incelly uh we're just gonna ignore all that <laughs> does that sound bad i don't know maybe i should reword that not not a good time not a good time i'm gonna put that in d tier vault 44 purpose hidden area where they did experiments on dangerous creatures Outcome, power failure in many areas led to the death of all residents. So, I mean, this is one of those things where it's like, if you don't know the outcome and you don't know what's going on, it's not a bad vault to be in. I mean, yeah, sure, they're doing some dangerous experiments off to the side, but that's no different from real life. There's probably dangerous experiments happening right now, 10 feet from my door at some, like, Air Force base, and I know nothing about it. So... You know, it's not it's not bad. Yeah, it sucks that they got loose, but you know, ignorance is bliss, right? If you don't know what's going on, it's just a nice happy go lucky vault. Pretty normal. So C tier. Vault 51. Purpose. AI would select the most ideal overseer. Outcome. The AI made the vault dwellers kill each other as a test. Personally, aside from the whole failure that happened, I feel like I trust a complex algorithm more than I trust my fellow people to select a good overseer. I mean, my TikTok for you page and YouTube algorithm is already so good at feeding me the content exactly as I want it. I trust our AI overlords to basically pick the president. I think that a complex algorithm would do a good job aside from the whole killing each other aspect. A tier. Vault 53. Purpose. Systems designed to break down every few months to slowly drive the residents insane. Outcome. Unknown. I mean, not much is known about this vault other than the fact that the systems will break down, but they are repairable. They're not going to be broken forever. They can be fixed. It also keeps the people busy. They have something to do. It gives somebody a job. I think that's just more of a minor annoyance, you know? I'm going to put that in uh, B tier. Vault 55. Purpose. No entertainment tapes. Outcome. Unknown. This is my chance to step up. With no entertainment and nothing to listen to, who are the people gonna listen to? Me. I'll be the entertainment. I'll be the best goddamn entertainer around. This is an opportunity of a lifetime. Everybody in the vault has zero entertainment, so they're forced to listen to me and watch me as their sole form of entertainment. Imagine being on YouTube and nobody can post any other video. The only person that can post a video is you. You get all the attention. That is an S-tier situation right there, baby. I'll take it. Vault 56. Purpose. The only entertainment tapes were from an untalented, unfunny comedian. Outcome. Unknown. I mean, it's the same as Vault 55. I could be the funniest comedian in the world. If all they have to listen to Rob Schneider or Amy Schumer or James Corden, I will look amazing by comparison. S-tier. Vault 68. Purpose. 999 men and one woman. Outcome. Unknown. Chilling with the boys every night and cracking open a cold one? S tier. Vault 69. Purpose. 999 women and one man. Outcome. Unknown. What's the point of being trapped in a vault if I can't even hang out with my homies? F tier. Also, I'm afraid of women. Vault 70. Purpose. Clothing production would break down after six months, reducing everyone's clothes. Outcome. Unknown. I mean, honestly, I think that life would be a lot easier if everyone had to be naked. It, it makes people more vulnerable and more, you know, more self-conscious. They could be themselves. And plus, people can't, like, hide knives or hide guns or anything. So it makes you feel safe that they're not hiding anything. I think that it would make things easier. And just for the fact of pure safety alone, I think that puts it in uh, S tier for no other reason alone. Just, just that. Just from a safety perspective. S tier. Vault 75. 
Purpose, eugenics program to breed super soldiers. Outcome, test subjects revolted against the scientists. I mean, this kind of depends on who you are, you know? I mean, if you're the one being experimented on, yeah, that's probably a shitty situation, but if you ask a certain mustached individual from the 1940s, he'd probably rank this as S tier. So for that reason alone, I'm just gonna put that in F tier. Vault 77, purpose, one man and a crate full of puppets. Outcome. Dude went insane with split personality disorder. This is from the Fallout comic, One Man in a Crate of Puppets, where he basically went insane. And uh, I also fucking hate puppets. So F tier, for sure. Vault 79, purpose. Secret service facility housing the United States gold reserves. Outcome. Reactor leak killed or ghoulified most people. Honestly, being in that vault, that's probably the safest vault in the world. I mean, America loves nothing more than to protect their gold and their wealth, so. Pretty safe in there, S tier. Vault 81, purpose. Scientists in a secret sector experimented on civilians in an effort to develop a universal cure for disease. Outcome, the overseer locked the scientist up and the vault was ran like normal. I mean, the outcome is really good here. It'd be shitty if you got some overseer who didn't do anything about it, but also if you end up in a situation where you're being experimented on, not a good time. But, eh, I mean, it's tough. If you you also if you don't know the experiments are going on, it's another like, ah, oh, this is this is a great time until your dad goes missing and comes back with like his ear chopped off or something cuz he got experimented on. So I it's, I'm just going to go with C tier. Very neutral on that. It's what you make of it. You know, this vault, it could be good, it could be bad, and it's 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 up to you to choose how you want it to be. Vault 84. Purpose. Once a year, everyone votes to exile one resident who they deem most dangerous to the vault. Outcome. They're living happily. That sounds like a win all around. You can get rid of all of the assholes. Someone picks on you, vote them out. It sounds great. S tier. Vault 87. Purpose. Testing on civilians with the forced evolutionary virus. Outcome. The residents turned into super mutants and took control of the unit. Basically, the FEV virus turns you into super mutant, but they also ended up taking control of the, the vault, so it's not a bad thing. Sure, becoming a super mutant makes you stupid, but it also makes you super strong, so you gotta look on the bright side there. And plus, I think it's better to go from being kind of smart to just dumb, because then you live happily. But if you go from dumb to super smart, you, you don't end up happy. If you guys ever read Flowers for Algernon, you would know that. Also, I've never known, is it Algernon or Algernon? I've never actually said that name out loud. Does that make me the dumb one? Because I don't know how to say Algernon. Anyways, the moral of the story is when you're smart and then turn dumb, everybody wants to be your friend. But when you're dumb and then turn smart, nobody wants to be your friend. And that's not a way to live. So being a super mutant is, is a good thing. That would be fun. I would much rather be a super mutant than a ghoul. So S tier. Vault 88. Purpose. Testing for experimental productivity boosting equipment. Outcome. The vault was never completed. Oh, well, I mean, it was not completed, so you can't really rank it. But if it was done, it's not anything super amazing, but you get to test equipment that's going to boost productivity. That sounds awesome. Uh, you're doing something great for the world. S tier for sure. Vault 92. Purpose. Testing the effects of long-term exposure to white noise. Outcome. Residents driven insane and killed each other. Okay, this one is... Not as bad as it sounds, all right? I personally love white noise. I cannot stand being in silence. If I'm sleeping at night at a hotel, I have constantly noise running. I love having the AC open. I need to turn on white noise on my phone. I hate silence. I hate it. I think that it wouldn't be that bad. But considering that it drove other people insane and led them to killing each other, that is not a good thing. But me personally, if I was trapped with white noise playing all the time, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. I think I would enjoy that. So I'm going to put that in uh, A tier. Vault 94. Purpose. Testing a pacifist society. Everyone was a member of a non-violent religious society with one vault tech employee to spectate. Outcome. The vault tech employee begged everyone to protect themselves, but they didn't. And it was taken over by outsiders. That's not bad at all. You're living with a bunch of people that are super nice and friendly. Yeah, if people enter the vault, you end up dying. But... You lived a good life in the meantime. S tier. Vault 95. Purpose. Addicts were given experimental rehab treatments. Then they were told of a secret stash of chems. Outcome. The addicts recovered and lived happily. But then they murdered each other over the secret stash of chems. That one is really messed up. I don't even think I could imagine something so messed up. Again, I think that whoever wrote this vault needs to be looked into. Uh, psychologically? Psychologically? And psychiatry? And just look at his head? 
and figure out what's wrong with them because I don't even think I can come up with something that messed up. F tier. Vault 96. Purpose. Research facility testing on wildlife using genetic engineering. There was only five staff members and they were threatened with death if they failed to meet quota. Outcome. They tried to sabotage the system and failed, which led to their death. I mean, on one hand, you're stuck in a vault with four other people that are nerds because they're scientists, but I guess that would also make you a nerd because you're also a scientist and part of the five. So can't really judge it there. And on the other hand, you're also stuck in a constant nine to five where instead of getting fired for not meeting quota, you get murdered. That's probably not a good way to live. So you're stuck with nerds and you have threat of death looming over you if you don't do your job. Definitely going to put that in F tier. Vault 101. Purpose. Overseers granted unlimited authority over its population. Outcome, fell into a civil war. So basically you're asking me to live in North Korea or England, F tier. Vault 106, purpose, study the effects of psychoactive drugs by releasing them in the air vents. Outcome, the residents had a huge rave and they had a blast. Just kidding, no, they all killed each other. I mean, that's just a result of a bad trip. Obviously if they picked an overseer that would be a better trip sitter, was a little bit more able to handle those emotions, they would have had a good time. And I like to think that the residents had a great time before they died up until that point. So again, not judging on the outcome. I think if you know that you're getting into a vault that is gonna give you some 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 acid or whatever, you'd have a good time depending on who you ask. I'm gonna put that in uh, A tier. Vault 108, purpose, studying the effects of leadership conflicts. Terminally ill people were put in power, power systems would fail, no entertainment, and triple the armory. Oh, and there was also a cloning lab where they cloned a guy named Gary a bunch of times. Outcome. The clones turned violent and overran the vault. Eh, that's good if you're Gary, and not good if you're not Gary. C tier. Vault 109. Purpose. A high-class vault filled with high-quality products. Outcome. Flooded with radiation accidentally. I fail to see the downside here. It's not a vault where they're specifically choosing wealthy people. It's just normal people, I think, getting into a vault with high quality products. I, I see no downside here. Yeah, it sucks that radiation got in, but I don't know about that. That one's definitely an S tier situation to be in for sure. Vault 111. Purpose. Testing the effects of long-term chirogenic stasis. In other words, being frozen into a human ice cube. Outcome. They never got unfrozen and vault security abandoned the vault. So this is the vault that you start off in in Fallout 4. And I've never been frozen before, so I don't really know what it feels like. But I also think it's not that bad of an outcome, to be honest. That's like the safest place you could be. Of course, there's points of failure where you can end up frozen forever. And you're also putting your life in the hands of other people that aren't frozen or computers or something, which kind of sucks. I think this one's a controversial one because I think there's people that would rather be dead than live in this state. But for me, I think that being frozen and just waiting until the world is in a safer place and being unfrozen is not a bad option. Uh, I'm gonna put that up there in A tier. Vault 112, purpose, social experiment where everyone is living in virtual reality. Outcome, the overseer used the VR to torture people for over 200 years. I remember playing this quest as a kid in Fallout 3 and this messed me up for a long time. This is probably hands down like one of the best quests in a video game that I ever played. I don't know if other people feel this way, but it was a really good quest. If you've never played Fallout 3 and you don't know what I'm talking about, just look up Fallout Tranquility Lane and watch a video on it or listen to the story because it's it's pretty interesting and it's, it's pretty messed up. But without spoiling it or going into too many details, getting trapped into a vault where the overseer gets to torture you in a VR program, yeah, that's, that's pretty crappy. If you're not the overseer of that vault, which, you know, if you're not a, a completely evil person, uh, yeah, then not a good time. Now I'm gonna put that in F tier for sure. Vault 114, purpose. Wealthy people were stripped of all wealth and luxury and forced to live by simpler means in a more cramped environment. And the overseer was stupid. Outcome, the vault was never completed. I don't know which is worse, to be honest. Being trapped in a vault with people that are rich and still live in luxury, or being trapped in a vault with people that w were rich and then stripped of all of their luxury and then hearing them complain all the time. I really don't know which is worse. F tier. The final vault. Vault 118. Purpose. 10 residents were given extreme wealth and control and 300 were forced to live in poverty. Outcome. Lower class section wasn't completed, but the high class turned themselves into robo brains to be immortal. A small percentage of the population being extremely wealthy and also spending a bunch of money to make themselves immortal? That just sounds like America, but I'm um, tis. Honestly, no matter which side of this you're on, I think it's a good outcome. Because if you're on the wealthy side, you can use your wealth to help the entire vaults or just be in control and in power and, and live in luxury. But that makes you an asshole, all right? I wouldn't do that. I would use my wealth to help people. And
And if you're on the poor side, it's got to be easy. It's just 300 people to 10. I think you could easily make a revolution happen. You could start a coup pretty easily. Uh, I'm going to go with B tier. And that is the final rankings for the vaults. That is a lot of vaults in Fallout. I hope that they add more in the TV show. I mean, what do you guys think? You guys agree with me on some of these? I, I think some of my opinions here might get you a little, a little riled up and not agree with me. But I think this is a solid solid opinion. I think this is a good opinion on these vaults, and yeah, and uh, what is your guys' ranking? Alright, well, I'll see you guys next time. Alright, this is a good video. Alright, bye guys. Uh, see you next time. Bye!